Welcome back to Basement Video Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about 1988's The Blob. But first, we have one important message that we want to put out into the world. <laughs> Hashtag Free Britney. Anyway, so what did you think about The Blob? I thought it was great. I thought oh, fuck, it. that's real in depth. It's bad. Whoa! But it was great. What? You know? Explain. It's, I don't know, it was cheesy. It was just, I didn't see cheese. a lot of things. The Blob's not made out of cheese, bro. It could be. No, it'd have to be, uh, I don't think there's many cheeses that are pink. I don't think there's any cheeses that are pink. You never had pink cheese? No. What about you, Andrew? No, I never had pink cheese. No. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, it was, I should have wrote down. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I never had pink cheese. Out. The director, no, it's the same. I think it's the same director or screen. I could be wrong. I know it's, it's the same, same director. director the, the it's the same, same sh- director and same writer as Nightmare on Elm Street three. Three is it three? Uh, four maybe. Four. I yeah. Can we give it? Th- um, it's I think that, it's three. I, think. I don't think it's that one over there. Okay, then it's three. Yeah, that's the which th- is in one my, of, my one opinion, of the good ones. The best one. They did. A bunch I don't really of, like them that well, but not much. Sorry. Which what? Nightmare on Elm Streets, but why? I don't know. I'm just saying, like, if I had to pick one, it'd be the third one. What's your favorite part about it? Like when he's a giant like snake thing, and he like that turns you on. That's your thing. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, anyways, the, f- <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I noticed about the blob that you probably didn't notice because you're a dweeb uh, was it, they have the same high school name as uh, the high school from Greece. But it's not the same high school, just the same high school. It doesn't. It, I don't think it because the high school from Greece was a lot bigger than what the Blob's budget could handle, probably. But they named it Rydell High. Yeah, I heard that it. The uh, they when it actually came out, it did flop. Because <laughs> the Blob flop. The Blob flop. <laughs> so they didn't. They didn't really. Uh, they spent more on their budget than they actually did on profit. That's what you're supposed to do, I think, right? Yeah. So that's how you know you got a good movie. Business one one. Yeah. Right. It'll become a cult classic later. That's usually how it happens. Like new, like new Coke? Like the thing, like New Coke. Yeah, yeah like New Coke, yeah. yeah. Stranger <laughs> Things comes out, and now it's, they resell it again, see? So that works. And they all come back. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, but no, I uh, I thought it was funny. I laughed a lot. I Surprisingly, because I knew it was a remake. From like the 50s? with. The, uh, yeah, I didn't know that it was, for some reason, Steve I didn't think McQueen. it was going to be gory. I thought, for some reason, I thought it was almost like how they did Psycho, where they like reenacted it scenes for scene kind oh, of thing. Oh, no, no. Well, I guess they I don't asked. Know why I thought that? They asked because you know Steve McQueen was in the first one. You know who Steve McQueen is. Kinda, yeah. He was the main character in the first one. He was a cool guy in that one. And they asked his son to be in it, but his son was just said, nah. <laughs> nah, <laughs> "Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to be in that." That's funny. So, um, I think what's his kid's name? Kevin Dillon. I know it's like Matt Dillon's brother. Just like couldn't tell you. You have a computer. <laughs> you can look it up. I got it. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's, it's one. This is a guy from Entourage, the funny fucking brother. He's a weirdo though. Did you notice the? <laughs> I grabbed the keyboard to use the. The phone. one. The one difference between the original one and the newer one. Yeah, Kevin Dillon. It was Kevin Dillon. Good job. What'd you say though? Or difference? What was the one difference? Yeah, like or at least the main difference. Was it was in the '80s and not the '50s? Well, no. One was actually an alien. This one was more was speculated. This was it man-made. Was, yeah, man-made type shit. But yeah, they didn't really specify because they said no. They did well because it was in space. It could have been. It yeah, ha- but it could have happened from what they were doing. But something in space could have made it like trigger, kind of like the organisms. They said it was, he said it was man-made though near the end of the movie. That guy was a dick. Brian. No, no, no. The the scientist guy that lied to them. Yeah, I feel like that like. The ridiculousness of like the government just coming in it was just like I just uh, it reminded me just of watching this movie yeah like but just watching this movie is like when you see that like spoofed on something that it's like oh yeah they took it from like this and like stuff like this well, so many movies <laughs> where different. they just like come in and it's just like oh shit like <laughs> we're not quarantine bad, the guys. whole area. yeah we're not bad guys. <laughs> but yeah anyway uh, so like, we get introduced to this this hobo character for some reason before most whoa, people whoa, whoa, whoa. Back it up. what. It starts with a four minute fucking pan shot of the city. That's it. Did you count as a four minutes exactly? That kind of reminded me of, I know this came out before and it's a lot shittier, but it, have you guys ever watched Twin Peaks? Mm-mm. The theme song of that, it's kind of like, Wait, re- yeah. really, the theme song is like slow building music, but it's just shots of the town of Twin Peaks. And it reminded me, I was like, did they steal it from the blob? 
But really, do they yeah. need four minutes? I, okay, that's just setting. Okay, no, no, to be fair, like, I feel like that's oh, actually. Here we go. No, I feel like that's a good idea. It's like you're setting out where the whole entire movie is going to take film. Like, well, they did, place. they did foreshadow a lot of, uh, like, skiing stuff and, like, snow stuff. Ah, uh, the yeah. Like There's a lot of. I don't know, man. I think the pacing was pretty good. And I think that they're like you, you mentioned or, uh, just right now about the snowing and that setting up later. I think there's a lot of setup and pay like payoff. Well, I don't. I feel like it's lazy setup though. I mean, like I'm not complaining. I, about I said, the movie like I said, it's not like a great. I'm, I'm saying it was great because of it being bad. Do you know what I mean? No, no, I get what you're saying. That's what I was about to say. I'm not complaining about the movie being shit because I like the movie, but I feel like it was lazy setup for ski instead of like building up like something else. They're just like, hey, look, this town sells ski stuff and their sales. <laughs> Look in this window. There's a sale coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like yeah, I, uh, didn't, I didn't mind that. I, I don't know. I liked the beginning. I get yeah, what you're beginning. saying though, where it was too fucking long, but I didn't mind. There's a lot of yeah. There's a lot of like I mean like I noticed straight away from watching. There's a lot of like details. There's uh. Did you notice? Okay, so the first time you see the blob. Yeah, when he's little on the hand. Yeah, but then it just cuts to the the Jello. <laughs> yeah, the Jello. <laughs> but not only the Jello, but did you notice throughout that whole entire movie. That the air, there was a lot of pink things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like food. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, I don't know. It reminded things me of. like that's kind of funny. I don't know if they were just like ripping on the old one. It reminded me of, because like, what year did Ghostbusters 2 come out? Because mm. you know what I'm talking about? That's the movie. 87, they had maybe? All the, I think it might have been later. It might have been after this. No, it's the 80s, but it's late 80s. It's 80s, yeah, but I don't know if it was after the Ghostbusters 2. 89, so it came out a year after Blue oh. Blob. But I, the, the Blob mm. coloring reminded me of the pink slime in the Ghostbusters 2. Yeah, I watched that one recently. It's in the in the sewer. <laughs> the okay. slime oh, just going the, through. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. He <laughs> gave me remember. <laughs> I just yeah, it wasn't. I don't know. I think the first one was better. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so the hobo stomping cans, eh? You like that? It's frying pans. On yeah, it. the frying pans strapped to the boot. You <laughs> You know, <laughs> I wrote that in my notes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I don't know. Yeah, so so notes? yeah, this is the first time. So did I. Because we're yeah. Cause <laughs> it's we're... the only one I took notes. <laughs> <laughs> I one of I I did put uh, there's a lot of commentary on American censorship. <laughs> Elab <laughs> elaborate. Oh, well, like in the first, it's one of the first scenes, but it's like the kids and he's telling his mom, he's like, yeah, mom, we're going to go see a hack and slash movie tonight. You know, it's going to be a lot of killing and stuff like that, but don't worry. There's no sex. <laughs> and you're just like, you're just like, okay. And then, uh, I also put that there was a uh, commentary on the American health system. Oh, so the, the character that John's at the beginning of the movie that gets attacked by the blob, one of the first characters. We're jumping right in. Okay. Well, we'll we start from well, the beginning. The hobo you're talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. So then they... I don't know if they hit him with the car or something, or they see yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. The, the kid that dies in the hospital from the blob is taking that main girl character on a date. Yeah, so then they bring him to the hospital, like, after, like, oh, shit, like, what's wrong with him? And then, uh, well, right, the first trying thing to chop his arm little hand off, remember? Yeah, I know, I know. But the first thing, they bring him to the hospital, and they're just like, okay, what, uh, what, what insurance plan does he have? Like, that's <laughs> the first thing they ask him. They're like, what the fuck? He's a hobo, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His insurance plan was the axe cutting off his fucking hand. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, can't take him. Well, they make they let him they in that hospital. They just kind of let him wilter away. Well, they didn't know the blob was, was gonna suck his life out. Well, no, because remember the doctor was there and they were like, "Oh, like, yeah, that was kind of weird." Because like, like, "Oh, I'm talking to a patient." <laughs> and he's like in the bag. And they didn't wrap him up off. or anything. Like yeah. his hand was almost <laughs> hanging off, probably. Yeah, and then I think that's closer to where the infamous scene comes with the. The what? The blob and traps him. And oh, with the him coming out, reaching for her? Yeah. And then she rips his hand off, or arm, whole arm? I think that's, they actually did pretty crazy practicals. Yeah, I love the practicals. Well, that's what I mean, like, going into that, that's what I was kind of hoping for, like, I didn't, just didn't know it was going to be. I read something that, like, all, like, the blob was all practical. It was, like, stop motion, practical, everything. Yeah, I like, see it was all real motion. shit. You can tell, but it looks really good. I mean, yeah. Yeah, remember, uh, the priest at the... Yeah, that guy's fire tea. <laughs> we're gonna have yeah. to we're gonna have to edit this out for a minute, okay? Why? Because my cat's trying to eat your cord. Oh. Fuck. Okay, we're good. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, when they uh, when he goes to the pharmacy with his buddy to go get condoms, the sleazy guy. Remember? <laughs> yeah. It? I don't even care about his name because he's a fucking uh, loser. But uh, <laughs> he's a loser. He's a loser. He's a loser. That's my purse. I don't know you. 
but <laughs> he's at the, the pharmacy. He's going to get caught. What do you say? Pack of Trojans and uh, what else? Something weird. I don't know, but I just know it was the one guy. It, so it the would turn. No, no, don't say it yet. Okay, yeah, that's the point. Yeah, so he's kicker. getting a uh, uh, pack of Trojans for his date with the this uh, girl, and then the priest comes up. He's like, "Oh, I haven't seen you in service." He's like, "Oh, they're the Trojans aren't for me. They're for that guy over there. He's he's got a real uh, naive girl who's taking on a date. He plans on yeah, having sex with her." And then he's like, "Okay, whatever." And then the was the pharmacist comes up and he's they're all just talking shit about the kid that's not doing anything bad hmm. and whatever cut to the next scene the, the girl is at her house and she lets her date in and it's that kid that's actually the the good kid he's like dad i want you to introduce you to someone he's like what does he just say he just goes Tro- trojans <laughs> the dad just yeah says. he's like ripped or yeah, he's, oh yeah because he gets ribbed he's, he's like, just like ribbed <laughs> and, then, yeah, and that was it and the scene ends i kind of wish it didn't though it was funny <laughs> yeah. but i kind of wished like he went in more of that uh... <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That guy's done a lot of things, though, eh? The pharmacist dad? Like, okay, you're not, talking about the four-minute intro. How long is the intro to The Shining where they're just panning over the mountains? Maybe it's not four minutes, but I'm pretty sure, I feel like that's a long... Yeah, The Shining's also a lot longer, isn't it? Shining's like almost it? two hours, two and a half hours, I think. I mean... There you go. Yeah, but it... So you got time to spare. But at the same time, you're still, still the same amount of whatever... Yeah, they, they had Jack Nicholson. We, we have Kevin Dillon. <laughs> that's true <laughs> yeah that's actually a good movie so that's just like well bro I mean yeah. Um, but yeah that guy you recognize that guy from me I, I can't tell you where he's from know. I just know he's been in a lot of stuff I've watched it has like background characters or like side characters the dad oh you no. didn't recognize him no I don't recognize anybody in that movie uh, except for the blob you recognize him yeah <laughs> what did you see him in uh, Ghostbusters 2 yeah. <laughs> it was a good year, I bro. just saw that one. <laughs> it was a good year. Bro. You got a lot of roles that year. Pink Slime was in. What was his downfall? Uh, when stop? Uh, Ghostbusters 2. So what do you think? But yeah, after that scene was the scene you were talking about where they, he, they hit the hobo in the car. Because the the scene after before or after I don't remember. There's uh, Kevin Dillon in the f- woods, just which just works on his bike in the woods, even though he's a mechanic <laughs> that works at a shop. But whatever, he's Kevin Dillon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then the hobo was just like, oh, yeah, he, like yeah, runs yeah. at him. Then it cuts to Jello. No, no. Oh wait, you're gonna be right. Yeah. No, because remember then he try does he try to cut his hand off with Kevin, or when he gets hit by the car after. I don't know. But you know what I understand is why he didn't get infect, like infected right away. Well, it's not... Uh... Maybe for the people that don't know what the Well, because it's a living we... thing. It We're... wasn't big and strong yet. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it does grow. Yeah. Yeah. Because it ate him first, I assume, and then it ate Paul, which was the date. Yeah. But yeah, they hit him with the car. <laughs> Kevin Dillon's character is just so, like... <laughs> the mullet guy? <laughs> Yeah, the mullet guy, Cody. The mullet man. But, like, he tries to mullet leave after they hit man. the guy with the car. He wasn't with them, but he runs the guy out of the forest pretty much to try to help him. And that's why they hit him. And he, like, goes to walk away to leave, and he's like, Where are you going? And he's like, I don't think I need to be here. You know where I'll be. <laughs> he's just like, All right, we get it. You're cool, bro. <laughs> he is cool. Yeah, he gets he's... in the car, puts his arm right around the girl. <laughs> he's like, what, 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 what are you waiting for? <laughs> Dude, he's like... Uh, yeah, it had, all, it had all your it had your bad your bad boy, the typical the jocks, the Yeah, the jocks the girl, all die the, pretty quick though. Yeah. Well girl? rightfully so. Whoa. <laughs> for some of them no, for some of them like that creepy guy. Yeah, he should have died. Yeah. 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 But uh what's her name? Uh, Vicky didn't have to die. Yeah, the poor true. girl yeah, he was unbuttoning her I nice blouse that he was talking about. Oh it's like I should have died, I'm saying the Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. Vicky, Vicky was the girl that got her head caved in by the blob man. <laughs> <laughs> so for those who don't know, the blob, as what we expect at the beginning of the movie, is that he crashes. Down, I guess we forgot to mention that he crashes. Well, we don't down even know that yet in the movie. We well, see. No, you it, see we it. see the meteor, but we don't know what's going on. Yeah. I mean, go on. Go on. I got it. The I'm meteor sorry. crashes, and so he's from space. Mm. Allegedly. That's what we believe too. What do you think? think? What planet do you think he's from? Uranus, but um, 
Yeah, so they go to the hospital. We already talked about that, that without the beginning where they're asking the health insurance and shit. But, okay, Paul, yeah, his name's Paul. He's like, I'm going to go get you a Coke. You want a Coke? Probably new Coke. Fuck that guy. <laughs> he goes to the, the pop machine. Oh, it was the 80s, so maybe, yeah. Yeah, he goes to the pop machine, then he realizes that the, what was it, the blanket on the hobo is moving. Then he checks it out, he rolls him over. The whole bottom half of him is like, it looks like it was burned by acid, which they say the blob is like acidic, right, don't they? Something like that. It like yeah. burns everything on the inside. Anyway, he does that and he rolls over. And where is, I didn't get this, but it was cool. Was the hobo's eyes glowing? No, I think they were just like. Just hollow? Like white or hollow or something. White, yeah, that's what they were. Like white. like white but glowing, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think the blob was having sex with him? And the blob's, uh, similar to Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer and dogs, had a red rocket, but it glowed through his <laughs> eyes. Do you think that? <laughs> Is that what you think happened? <laughs> So anyways, the doctor... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. Maybe. <laughs> I'd watch that. That's just glowing because you... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Go on about the doctor you've been waiting to talk about. When so Paul the goes to grab the doctor. In, sees that he's all fucked up. Yeah, then... but what happens with the doctor? Paul has a hard time. What do you mean? Remember when he got, he's like, oh. I'm with a patient. <laughs> I'm with a patient. He couldn't help the guy. There's a man cut. dying over here, doctor. <laughs> yes. oh, well, oh, one minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was really inconvenienced about that. He just yeah, he didn't know he what didn't to do. The time. He didn't have money. But yeah, he guy. saw him. When did Paul get fucked? <laughs> By the blob. <laughs> I don't mean literally <laughs> fucked. I mean like You're dead. Just saying. I mean, like, dies. When did he die? Because he gets the doctor. Doctor sees Hobo Man. Oh, that's what, that's sort of spreads. And then he... Because uh... Paul told the doctor, but... The pop. He was getting the pop. He got the doctor. Then he went to the doctor's office to call the police. The sheriff. And the blob was already in the on the ceiling. Which I thought was funny. <laughs> the Paul walks in. He gets on the phone. The blob just, like, closes the door. <laughs> I love those scenes where it did show, like, it had, like, an appendage. It'd be like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like clearly you could see like how they used to do in old B movies where it'd be like the big thing is everybody's running away from it, but yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like a different scene. Well, because they do him stop motion, then yeah. I think then the foreground they had whatever's going on. Right, and then it just <laughs> yeah. But all, most of the time it was a lot of the blobs appendages trying to swipe Sli- at people or people, yeah. kitten doors. So it, cl- it closes the door and then Paul looks up and it's on the ceiling and I don't remember how to make the noise, but it made a fucking weird ass noise when it like jumped Dude, at him from the ceiling. Try. <laughs> yeah, and then it trapped him in the blob. And yeah, then uh, she comes over to get, but Paul, 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 where are you? And then she goes in, and Paul's uh, 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 reaching out. She grabs his arm because it breaks through the blob, and then she just rips his arm. <laughs> the yeah. cops come, her parents come, everyone thinks she's a fucking nut job. Like classic, classic, similar to classic um, nut job, similar to Nightmare on Elm Street, the first one, right? With Nancy, people start dying in their dreams. They don't, they don't know what's going on. I think it's. I think you don't guy. like those movies, man. Which one? Oh no, I'm just saying. Like, if I had to pick, I'd watch the third one. Hmm. Yeah. I'll take. Fuck you, boss. <laughs> but uh, yeah, fuck a boss. Uh, <laughs> so what is the blob then? Where are we? Are we told what tonight it is on exactly? 2020? <laughs> <laughs> are you? Do you know where your kids are? In the blob. In the- I hope their eyes aren't glowing because you know what that means. <laughs> ah, cut! <laughs> <laughs> Jelly Jam. <laughs> That's his jazz name. <laughs> That's the blob's jazz name, Jelly Jam. Yeah. You, got, you, you picture j- it. He he's just like, just picture him on drums, but he's just like. <laughs> With someone else's dead face. <laughs> but yeah, every time he hits the thing, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of every show, everybody just fucking that thing. <laughs> His music makes it our eyes yeah. uh, I'm finishing. <laughs> but yeah. Speaking of finishing, what did you think about Paul's sleazy friend? Oh, he's fucking greasy, bud. How greasy is greasy, bud? So greasy that the blob fucking killed him right away. And I was like, oh, this guy better die. And then he didn't. I, I wanted like, him to die. Good. 
And what then you think uh, uh, about the special effects on Vicky's caving in fucking skull? Oh, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Let's look up who did it. Oh, <laughs> it's Eric Allard. <laughs> I don't know if he worked on the specific scene, but he's one of the only one on IMDb. Uh, IMDb. <laughs> IMDb <laughs> with a picture on his on his profile, and he also did such films as Stuart Little, nice Alien Resurrection, <laughs> Short Circuit One and Two. Uh, it's weird in his top films that he's known for. The Blob isn't one of them. <laughs> he's like I don't forget about that one. He also did Lovecraft Country, Agents of Shield, Godzilla, King of All Monsters. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Came out. Oh, not just came out, but it was the new. 2017 Transformers. The fuck did he do in that? He did that? something on Conan O'Brien, too. It's like, I wonder what he did there. That's cool. Like the mm-hmm. Conan O'Brien show. I don't know what he did in Godzilla. That's all, like... Uh... Well, what, all movies that, even though they have CGI, have some practicals. I was just going to say, it's like maybe the town falling apart or something. Maybe. Yeah, maybe the miniatures or something. I don't think there's any miniatures in that, buddy. And Godzilla tearing down a town? Unlike the newer ones. I don't know. I don't know. CGI? No, but I mean like, oh, you're trying to say for maybe the. I'm saying just for like because city, even, like Godzilla's so. all CGI. But I'm saying actually I don't know. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, be a lot cooler if it was. Be a lot cooler <laughs> if it was. <laughs> but yeah, so the next scene after uh, dumb fuck dies and Vicky, uh, the cops bring in um, mullet man, bad boy, <laughs> yeah, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that guy. Cause they they already have a hard on for him because he's the bad boy in town. He's always up to no good, doing stuff on the mullet deck with his curly mullet. Yeah, until he does. <laughs> well, I guess we should bring up because the foreshadowing. At the beginning of the movie, he took a jump and fell. But anyways, the cops. That's bring true. Him yeah. <laughs> Why was he trying to cross the bridge? To get to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> but yeah, so the cops, uh, he goes to the cops because they think he's the one who killed Paul, which is the the guy that was on a date with her. Remember? Yeah. You remember Paul? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, so whatever, they're interrogating him. The one cop that's a dick gets it right in his face. You know what he does to him? Gets what right in his face? He gets right in his face oh. yelling at Brian. He's, that's what he says his name was, right? Yeah. And he's just like, oh, yeah? Why don't you get a little closer? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck just happened? He just licks his face. <laughs> I'm all for fucking face licking, but that was out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that was really in character. In character? <laughs> out of character. I was stuck. Yeah. I know, I got, I got. <laughs> <laughs> So what it, did it bother you? This movie wasn't really an, technically an alien movie. I didn't go in thinking it was. Well, you've already seen it, I guess. Yeah. Well, I didn't go I, in, I, the I first did, time. I didn't I go into it thinking it was an alien movie. You did. Technically, I mean, I what? mean, it's from space, so technically, it's an, you would think it's from an alien, but it's not. Like, it's not. Yeah, so's uh, huh? So's uh, so's like Buzz Aldrin. He's from space at one point. He's not an alien. <laughs> Yeah, but he just wasn't born in space. He might have been. You don't know that. Or he wasn't born from a different planet or whatever the he fuck. He could have been. Do you think he jacked off on the moon? <laughs> How do you think that works? Do you think astronauts jack off on in, on the moon and in space? Yeah, you're up there for a while. Yeah, do you think it is like comes just floating around <laughs> in space still? But bu- Buzz Aldrin's come. Do you think that the blob was actually just a buildup of Buzz Aldrin's come from Why 1960? Is pink, Why is it pink? Space does some shit to someone's come. You never did you have your come in there? <laughs> <laughs> you ever shot so high? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. No, I haven't. And if I did, it wouldn't come back down. I wouldn't have any way of getting it. So you never. Wow. <laughs> you got space kids. <laughs> <laughs> People think the moon's made out of cheese, but I think it's made out of Buzz Aldrin's cum. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. One small step for man, one giant load for Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> <laughs> he was the first one. That- <laughs> oh. I mean, <laughs> blob size. <laughs> man, Buzz Aldrin is the blob's dad, I think. <laughs> you got nothing to say about Buzz Aldrin's dick, Grandma? <laughs> 
Uh, back on track, I guess. Since I'm getting weird, I guess. Everyone's giving me looks. <laughs> So yeah, when they're in the, they go to the, <laughs> <laughs> whatever, he gets out of jail, remember, she goes to bail him out, but she didn't need to bail him out, they let him go, because they didn't have anything on him. She pulls up, he's like, no, leave me alone, I'm a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he sounds like. And, uh, so yeah, they pick him up, remember, and then, uh, she's like, you're just, just like everyone else, she runs to the restaurant, whatever, they go talk to the restaurant. The scene I want to talk about, do you remember George? Yeah. The dishwasher or the cook or whatever he was? Yeah. How cool was it when he got <laughs> sucked into the sink? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Was, uh, the effects on that remind me of Nightmare on Elm Street 1 when Johnny Depp got sucked into the bed with all the blood. Oh, Except, yeah, yeah. And this wasn't blood, it was blob cum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was like they were, they were just getting sucked in and then it was going to be like, you know, like most like... Uh, like sinks and stuff have like the food dispenser, but it's just the blades. So that was gonna. Yeah. Be like, <laughs> <laughs> but no, he. Dude, a lot of people got folded in half in this movie, and I laugh every single time. Yeah, like <laughs> <all just wholeheartedly. laughs> Like so it reminded me of the ending of uh, Roger Rabbit. Remember the bad guy from Roger Rabbit? No. <laughs> so yeah, George dies, and I don't uh, know how that reminds you of Roger Rabbit, but yeah. Yeah, I would tell you if you knew. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> So, say, he reminded me of the bad guy at the end of jo Roger Rabbit when he shows that he's a tune and he goes, and he's all like flailing and shit. Oh, I remember that, yeah. That no, somewhere. you don't. It's all somewhere. It's up on the internet somewhere. Yeah, George dies and I wish I was dead. Cody doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with your eye? <laughs> so whatever, the fucking... It's every time we try to review movies, I don't know how this goes over. <laughs> just better stick to shows at this point. <laughs> whatever, the blob fucks up the whole restaurant somehow. I don't even remember how he did that, do you? I remember him killing George Jeez. and the whole restaurant went blah, blah, blah. What do you mean how you fuck up? Yeah, you consumed him. Well, the thing is... Which we should have described with the earlier of this is that the blob, as he consumes more people, the bigger he gets uh, to the point where they think that he's going to consume the whole town. Town. Uh, town, and then the, the whole world. country at some point, and then maybe the whole world. Or at least the whole... Buzz Aldrin would be proud. Yeah. He would, he'd be in space. He'd be safe. But... Uh, he doesn't live there. <laughs> you don't know. He'd be there. She might as well get going. It was Did you know that Buzz... From Toy Story was named after Buzz Aldrin, the space cum man. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. no, it's true. Hey, turn on that projection, Buzz. <laughs> yeah, I came on that thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so he destroys the whole restaurant somehow. And this part. I laughed at really hard. You know what I'm gonna say? No. You don't know. Go. Go where? Uh, to your next sentence. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, <laughs> 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 what? <Suspense is> <laughs> <me. laughs> Whatever. The, the the restaurant's all fucked up. Everyone's dead but them two, obviously. And she's like, "Oh, the front door's locked." <laughs> He's like, "I got a key." Picks up a brick. <laughs> <laughs> it like, works every time. Yeah, you can't go wrong with a brick. Well, this is a steel door or something or a vault. Fucking, what are you gonna do? What's that guy's name? Remember that rapper that sang about the brick in your face? That stupid. I do, but why do you? Stitches. Yeah, stitches. Fuck stitches. I mean, sorry, stitches. <laughs> I don't mean it. Man. I don't want the brick to my face. I'm pretty sure he's got like parole and shit. Oh, perfect. Stitches. Can't leave <laughs> that's that's tail. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, the next thing we find out that the blob killed the dinosaurs. What do you think about that? Yeah, the go that's when the government first comes in, right? And that's when something's to be expected, that there's more than just, uh, alien meteorite they crashed into. We don't Earth. know that yet. No, but I'm just saying, that's when they show up and that, yeah, he's, he's just trying what to do you, What do you think like, happened to the dinosaurs? Yeah, the meteor came and killed them all in, he said like a day or something like that. You think the blob ate them? You think Buzz Aldrin's that old? Do you think he just left after that, though? They just took, 
I'm gonna kill the dinosaurs, and he just didn't have any kids, and he also died for some Maybe reason. Maybe the blob is, in this movie is son of the blob, or and the real blob is actually the years. core of Earth. What did you say? Is there still, isn't that a movie, Son of the Blob? They make a Son of the Blob? No, you're thinking Godzilla. Sonic. It wouldn't surprise me if they made Son of the Blob. I'm on it! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know where you'd go with that one, but... Uh, it's a smaller blob. He eats uh, kids. <laughs> <laughs> the blob eats kids, though. And it grows. <laughs> yeah. No. It started in there, there was a movie that I didn't know about that I just found. It's called Beware the Blob that came out in 1972. You know, as I was watching this movie, though, no son of blob, but go on. As I was watching this movie, I remember because again, I've never seen it, but I remember they were. I don't know if this was Rob Zombie talking about it or people talking about, it, but the Rob Zombie was gonna make a, a remake of it or something, and I was like, I can actually like, I don't like him as a director, but I can. I like as I was watching, I was like, oh shit, I can picture him being into this sort of thing, and then him making like, something, no, something no. just like over the top, ridiculous, like I don't know. I don't know either. Rob Zombie's a weird guy. Yeah. He's doing the monsters now, though. The what? The monsters. Mun. I said monsters. You think Olivia Munn's going to be in it? Yeah. No. I, uh, She's Psylocke in the X-Men movies. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But her last name's Munn. Get it? <laughs> Moving on. Dinosaurs. So, yeah, what did we learn about the government, really? They lied to us that whole scene, pretty much. Yeah. It's actually, they make it seem like they're like a not environmentalist type thing. No, yeah, like yeah, they're trying like to contain environment it. studies, trying to contain it. Blah 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 blah. blah. Let's cut that. to the next death. What was the next one? The projectionist death. Remember? That was the next one already. Yeah, when the oh, kids. Yeah, it was are a pretty th- short movie. Yeah, it was only like an hour and a half. Yeah, but the kids are at the theater because remember they wanted to go see this movie without the sex. <laughs> so they go see it. Whatever it goes to the projectionist upstairs. <laughs> Was it chilling on the ceiling there too? Yeah, it was just chill. It was waiting for its chance to. Oh, he opened the vent. It was crawling through the vents. Remember? Yeah, and then Buddy gets it and he turns into a fucking. I thought that was pretty cool. That yeah. one. That other one I think might have been my favorite kill. Yeah. Well, because then you see him on the ceiling after, and he's all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That I'm in the original though. It wasn't wasn't it a movie theater or something? The blob attacks. So they probably. Yeah, just... everyone's running out of the theater. That's yeah. why that was the classic scene when everyone's running out. So they just did the. Uh... Oh my god. Driving. That wasn't at the driving. Oh no, it was a theater. Yeah, it was right. a th- it, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, that this town that they filmed in was the Blob Town from the original. Because that's like a tourist track. Every year there's like uh-huh. a there's like a a parade or a convention to both type thing in that town to uh, commemorate the blob. <laughs> commemorate. <laughs> yeah, they love them. <laughs> town hero. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they, I think this one was filmed in that same town because everything looked the same from the original movie. <clears throat> hmm. Angry video game nerd goes to that convention or whatever sometimes. Oh, I seen. That. He recorded it sometimes. Some, mm. Sometimes. Yeah. I thought he went to like. Oh yeah, he did something where he was going to places where movies, or they film certain movies. We should go there. Did. Would you be down? Well, <coughs> where? When the borders open, we should go to the Blob Convention. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as well now. Yeah, we've watched one of them. Yeah, we can do it. We fit in. <laughs> I'll be uh, I'll dress up as Kevin Dillon, but in Entourage, and see if anyone notices. Maybe Might as well now. You can dress up as Buzz Aldrin's come, and I'll be Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> you think people will get it? Uh, so you say like a horse costume? Oh, so no one's gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, remember that one scene? That just remembered because I almost fucking had a seizure during this scene. Oh, that was that was cool. fucked. It was I, cool, but I, like that, I, I literally know, I, had to block the TV for I like can, a bit. So of I it. did. I did this. I said In the theater, when the great. projection starts fucking up, it's just Dude, like bah, 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 bah. the soundtracks and some of the scenes are the music. Yes, I said soundtrack. I didn't correct you. I was just saying. <laughs> but no, that scene in particular when they're the blobs attack in the movie theater. I had to wa- the flashing lights, but you and then you'd like see somebody. I was watching it in my like, bedroom. Ah, I was watching it in my face. bed. I watched it in bed with the lights off, so like that light was a lot for me. Oh, okay. So I, I had to go that. like this. And yeah, then, <laughs> but then. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Who did the soundtrack? You look that up. Oh, I would love to. Hmm. Keep talking about Probably it. I can't find it, but why can't I find? No, it? I really enjoyed that, and some of the scenes are. Let's see who the... I wonder what else he's done, hey? What do you think? Probably Stuart Litter. 
Stuart Stuart, <laughs> Stuart Litter. <laughs> That's my favorite cat litter. Stuart Litter. Composer. There's only one guy. His name's Michael. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'll say that. I'm not saying that last name. He, he's done the blog. <laughs> no, don't. You probably shouldn't either. <laughs> do that either. <laughs> he's done the blob he's done the jewel the nile you ever see jewel the nile no no i want to it's uh michael douglas and kathleen turner and like a kind of like a love story indiana jones more like uh for the wife at home you know indiana jones for the husband jewel the nile's for the wife gotcha Mer mermaids with Cher and uh bob hoskins speaking of uh, uh who friend roger rabbit nine and a half weeks blah blah there's a bunch of dracula 3000 i knew that oh god Baldur's Gate 2, the video game. Hmm. Oh, nice. I guess. Classic. Game. Is it? I don't know. I had a friend who played it. Oh, he did Dark Skies. You ever see that show? No. It's like uh, it's like X-Files, but like cheesier as fuck. And like, it only lasted one season. We should talk about that one time because it only lasted one season because they had to cancel it because the government... People thought that they had files from the government that no one knew about that things were so... The things they did in the episodes were so uh, realistic and... Uh, like, it was it about like, like government believable? Cover like, huh? Like, was it about government cover ups or something? It's literally like X Files, but solely aliens. Yeah. I'm not too familiar. It came with out episodes. in the, what was it? 96, yeah, 96 to 97, only had 19 episodes. In the 60s of America, a young couple struggling, blah, 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 aliens, blah, blah, secret government, blah, 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 agenda dealing with the threat, you know? Gotcha. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah, it's but yeah, then they're all dead. And Whoa, who? Kid. What? Who's dead? People in a lot of some of the people in the theater that got attacked by the blob. It's like, but, never mind. <laughs> that one kid. Yeah, that's he, he died. Kid. You think? Yeah, he definitely died. The, yeah, we did see him get uh, sucked in, right? The kid. No, because they tried to escape. They tried to escape the sewers or whatever. One yeah, but her, bro her brother's friend. There's two little kids. Oh, he got actually... sucked in underwater in the sewer. And then he tried to come back up, and he's like, ah. That was kind of that. Yeah. That yeah. reminded me of Friday the Thirteenth. Do you ever see the first one? At the end, when J no, it's oh, his mom the whole movie. Yeah. And then Jason, uh, his deformed like weird body, shows up at the very end, jumps out at the canoe in the water. Yeah, that's scary. Were you scared? I got scared. Were you scared of this part? Because it reminded me of it when the kid jumps out of the sewer water. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't sleep last night. Really? I'm here. Yeah. True story. Uh, happened to a friend of friend of mine. Yeah. So. <laughs> Nah, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> this is podcast is a collection of John's noises. <laughs> that's uh, I was gonna... that's Buzz Aldrin's cum noise. But uh... <laughs> so after that scene that I almost had a seizure, and yeah, they go in the sewer. But the coolest part of the movie, you don't remember? You don't? You don't even know? What? I don't know. He goes for the jump again. Oh, he does. No, that's before, is it? Oh, the it's government's chasing him, so we should probably... Inf the government part's stupid. What do you mean? We knew they were bad. Yeah. But yeah, okay, so he overhears them because he gets away. Oh, no, 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 no. We skipped a whole part. We're fucked. Remember, they okay, they bring him into town in that van. And yeah. then they get off, she sees her family, blah, blah, blah. That's when the movie stuff happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, he escapes. He's like, I'm out of here. And picks the lock, jumps out, goes back, listens to them say that it was like a, what was it, chemical weapon? Not chemical weapon. Biohazard weapon? It was like a bio a weapon. Biological, like, yeah, they're trying to biological, use like biological warfare. Not biological. Would it be biological warfare? Yeah, because they're made of, because it's known as like a germ. So they like yeah, made yeah. it, right? Yeah. And they think people are infected and then they got to isolate the whole town. Does he and then he, he, that's the, that's the funniest part is when he has like the assault rifle. This is maybe closer near to the end, but he's like, it's not an alien. It's a biological warfare germ what? that they fucked up or something yeah. like that. And it was just like super like uh, cheesy like uh, <laughs> 80s dialogue. But it was like awesome. Like the badass like line in the movie. <laughs> yeah, but, but it was funnier. <laughs> kind of like, yeah. Kind of like you, what? No, because I was thinking it's like one of those like you would like quote that from something. But like it made me think of like uh, like when I think of that, I think of like They Live. Yeah. And not having like yeah, yeah. the quoting, like so many things you can quote from that movie. I heard Andrew fell asleep during They Live. Yeah, I was there. I was like, Andrew, I got this movie I want to show you. And I came over, all excited to watch it. And you just, is it still on, man? This movie's boring. Oh, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew. Bro, 
I wake up and <laughs> say the most <laughs> absurd <laughs> thing <laughs> for one. <laughs> and I don't remember it. Just... <laughs> uh, yeah. Should watch. Did you watch it ever since? Probably not, eh? And. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so he, whatever, the guy, he finds out the government, he fights the government, and then he's trying to get away from the government, gets his fucking bike. He sees the bridge again, and he's like, no, wh- one second. Failed this the first time. No, 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 me one second. I'm saying one second right now. Do you think this was cool? I thought it was cool every time. I don't know why. I feel like he did it every time he was on the bike, even if he wasn't turning. He did that cool slide turn. <laughs> Did he? he? Like, he would just like turn drift. around randomly in the bike, like, do a complete, like, drift circle. That's sick, yeah, dude. Dude, what, at one point, he's fucking... It's the cheesiest. No. <laughs> one point? Yeah. One point, they're, when they're in the sewers, this is... The, so, when we're talking to when yeah. one kid gets consumed by the blob, they're running out, but they're finally in the, like, the bigger part of the sewer where they can just run. Yeah. And uh, he shows up on the motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he takes them, and then he does, like, the... He goes, like... Like the blob's like there, and he just like rides up the wall. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I kind of blocked that out for that some reason. Coolest, that was the coolest scene. In the movie. <laughs> yeah, I read something or I watched a video talking about that they actually had when he jumped that bridge near the end. They, that was a real helicopter. That was a real truck blowing up, and that was him actually jumping the bridge. Nice. And they're like, we don't know how we did it. We got in that one shot, but we fucking did. <laughs> hey, no one remembers. <laughs> But I thought it was sick. He's got a fucking helicopter on him and a truck blows up. Why yeah, did the truck blow up? <laughs> that's what I mean. This is like a bad movie, but there was so Michael much, Bay's first but movie. It, it was like... It, yeah. There was a lot of... Snow truck blow. It was like, how many cool things can we throw in this movie? <laughs> you know? It was like, Wait, no, you're talking... Yeah, you're talking about the one at the end. I'm talking about the... The truck blew up when he jumped the bridge. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah the one at the end. Was when, yeah. He starts consuming. But yeah, so he gets... He goes to tell everyone that, uh... <laughs> I just read one of my notes. It's pretty funny. <laughs> it's the way the the meadows wiggle before getting sucked into the sewer. But I don't know what the meadows are. <laughs> the meadows? I just thought you moved. Okay. There's one. Okay. Like, I, before, I think, I don't know if it's after the kid, but it's anyway. Oh, not the meadow. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The door. No, it's when they, when one of those, uh, when the blob's coming up on the sewer and pulls one of the government guys down, he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> just I think his name might have been Meadows. Yeah, the way Meadows wiggles, yeah. <laughs> that was like the old... <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I like the scene when they... <laughs> <laughs> They're coming out the door, and then the kid gets stuck. He's like, "Oh no, my coat!" <laughs> and so the door, <laughs> Bob's trying to get through the door, but you see, each inch by inch, the go- screws coming out. <laughs> yeah, and then of course, last second they get the kid off. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the blob just sounds like drunk Homer Simpson. This whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> To be honest, I don't even think he makes a noise. No, we're just, I mean, like, wh- I mean, when we're making the noises, it sounds like drunk Homer Simpson. Or like Barney Rubble. Not Barney Rubble. What's Barney Gumble? Barney Rubble's the Flintstones. <laughs> I can't even take this. <laughs> Did you notice how the flamethrower shot? <laughs> They showed that you, know, you, know you know what you said Okay so near the end The government comes And shoots with the flamethrower They try to get it with the Yeah but it's but on it like this weird arc Yeah but it's, you know what I realized that, Like maybe that's like Based on like the Ghostbusters <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it Hey go pretty cool last year <laughs> It wasn't last year It was like Ghostbusters Ghostbusters Wait a couple years after or before? Ghostbusters was 85 And 2 was 89 Yeah yeah And this was, was 80, 80. Eight. Yeah like, Ghostbusters 1 was out before this and the cartoon was already. And the second out. one? The second one was 89. No. Was we, we looked it up at the beginning no, of this sorry, episode. I apologize. Yeah, it was. But, anyways. But, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Well, it wasn't that first movie yet. <laughs> <laughs> my, my next note is Snow Bad. <laughs> <laughs> so they find that the flamethrower doesn't work, that it's actually acceptable to. Uh, it's a cold. <laughs> yeah. <It's, laughs> and that's the foreshadowing. It's a snow ski town. Blob can't survive there. Is he stupid? <laughs> Landed in the wrong fuck town. Go to Florida with stitches, you dumb fuck. <laughs> they should make a the sequel. It's already too much crazy shit going on in Florida. They don't need a fucking blob going on. 
<laughs> or maybe they do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How does I don't even. <laughs> What was like? How did they kill him? Kill the Bob? Well, not kill him, but you know what I mean. They, I think they got some like CO two, and they like yeah, they just oh whoa, whoa, whoa fire extinguishers. Yeah. So they, well, they started with fire extinguishers, and then they used the snow truck. Yeah. The yeah. 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 CO2, yeah. And they turned him into actually. <clears throat> did you think it was cool when the <coughs> the government guy died in a suit? Then the blob went in a suit and like ate him oh, on the yeah, inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty fucking sick because I hated that. I liked him in the beginning. Be cool if it like. But he's just like they're expendable. Yeah. Kill them all. They're just kids. He's dead now. Just trying to watch a slash movie. None of this would have happened. I mean, it's all his. Nobody would have been saved if it wasn't for Brian though. If he didn't also have to fix his motorcycle or Buzz Aldrin. Yeah. Because if he didn't come in space, the blob wouldn't be a thing. So it's his fault. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Andrew? Yeah. <laughs> Good take. I like Andrew's take on that. Uh, if you didn't, if you noticed earlier on, the priest from the earlier scene. Oh, yeah, scene, he grabbed a little he piece. grabbed a little piece. When they were at the restaurant. Yeah, remember? he does a little earlier on in the film. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, we're in the end. Let's talk, let's talk about the end. That's what we're doing. Not the, not the end end. Like after the sewer blows up. Mm-hmm. And they get him. I'm trying to think of one specific part. Does the reverend guy, priest dude, yeah. does he still have... Yeah, he has it with him. I think he... Doesn't he look at it while they're in front of the theater or whatever, trying to kill him? Yeah. This like, it shows the, that he has it still. Because it shows him, it. like, there's a scene by himself, well, me, like, scurrying around. Yeah. So... Yeah, he took a piece. They finally kill the blob. Yeah, they kill him, and then... Credits. Brian's the hero. Of the day. Buzz Aldrin, proud. <laughs> Oh, yeah, his son's dead. Oh, I don't know if his son's actually dead. <laughs> uh, g -g -g Sorry, Buzz. <laughs> to infinity and beyond, right, bud? I'm going to end his job a little harder. No, he keeps that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the priest is preaching to the choir. But at this point, the blob's dead. The blob is dead. Yeah. And the priest... Oh, what happened to his eye? He got all fucked up. What happened to his eye? I don't remember. I was remember it part of the blob? The blob eat piece of his eye? Because remember, his, yeah, his, his eye's eye was white like the hobo up. guys when he's preaching. And he's got like a beard now. He's got long... He looks like Quentin Tarantino in uh, Little Nicky. You remember that part where he's the blind priest talking on the... He falls down the stairs. Is it the end is coming? Remember on the road? Was that Quentin Nicky? Tarantino? Yeah, that was Quentin yeah. Tarantino that played that priest. Really? Yeah. Oh. It reminded me a lot of him, just a creepy looking weird yeah. priest. Hmm. But yeah, then you see he goes in his back room, he's talking to someone. Does he show them the piece of the blob he has? No, he, he just goes he in talking, like a safe. So basically when this, well, you should point out before like all this shit was happening, he was like, oh, it's the judgment day. Yeah, judgment day's coming. coming God, yeah. whatever is going to. It kind of like, it, it kind of felt like he was talking about himself. Yeah, I don't know. There's a whole he has the blob, right? It's like the, the judgment government, day. it's like their perspective and then the priest, yeah, yeah. whatever. Uh, but, yeah, so near the end, then he's, like, preaching to the choir, like you said. <laughs> I made a note about that. I just said, fucking religious people making everything about religion. <laughs> Bob's not religious, I heard. I mean, if you're calm, I don't know. He's a Buddhist, I think. <laughs> but, yeah, so whatever. He looks like Quentin Tarantino. He's looking at someone's feet pics or something like Quentin would. <laughs> 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 Putting mud on fucking Margot Robbie's feet And then he just goes in a safe and he has the blob And then what does he say? He's like oh judgment day is coming very and then, soon <laughs> and, then, and then it just goes like a hair metal band credits Yeah And then we never saw a sequel ever <laughs> Too controversial sure good, yeah. Did you say too controversial? <laughs> yeah. I just made a sequel and it's just about a, the, the priest Okay so uh, how many vials of Buzz Aldrin's come do you give this movie? Out of what? Out of ten. Ten vials. Uh, seven. Seven, nice. Yeah. I'll give a solid eight vials of Buzz Aldrin's cum, Andrew. How about you? I give it three <laughs> vials of Buzz Aldrin's Buzz Aldrin's cum. Cum? I give it the cum. Can I go down? <laughs> That's special. I give it three vials. Ten. That's just too much. He gave him a ten? No, I'm just saying, like, you had to give him he a ten. He said three. I gave I'm eight. just saying that's a lot of work to be put at the <laughs> 
<laughs> a lot of work that Buzz Aldrin has to do to fill those vials. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. I can't. <laughs> I'll take, I'll and on that sticky note, that's the end of this episode today on the Basement Video Podcast. See you next time, guys. Take care.